How do we go from this nice and clean UI to this? Let's talk about the new Fortnite UI update. You might already have seen the new UI, but this is exactly what it looks like when you now load up Fortnite after today's update, which is a really good update, I must say, besides this part. But immediately the first things I felt when I loaded this up is that this is not Fortnite whatsoever, and I really didn't want to play the game. That's not to say the gameplay is any different whatsoever. The gameplay is still amazing, and I still love this game, and saying that, I'm not gonna stop playing this game. But this UI just looks so soul there's a lot to get into and break down with this UI, and I don't really want to be too negative on this, but it almost just feels like we're getting away from what Fortnite's identity is, like we're almost trying to just change everything of what Fortnite is, the way it looked, and I'm not sure why, because you would almost think you want your brand to have like that look and that style, and this new UI is like the furthest thing away from Fortnite style that they've ever done. I also feel it's kind of really bad timing them putting out this new update, which really kind of shoves creative down your throat even more, as the community has been very vocal recently online about their distaste for not only creative just being kind of pushed at you so much, but a lot of people feel that creative has almost kind of taken the focus for Fortnite and all of the dev time, and has extremely negatively affected everything else in the game of Fortnite. Which I mean that, I'm not 100% sure if that's actually the case, but in the future I do plan to make a video going over kind of how often we used to actually get events and different fun things that Epic used to do, versus what we've gotten now which is kind of very dry. It does seem like things are going to pick up going forward though, as we have seen leaks that the next season might take us all the way back to chapter 1 and do some really insane stuff, so I'm actually really looking forward to the future of Fortnite right now. And I'm going to cover that topic in another video, probably going to be posted later tonight. But yeah, let's get back to the main topic of this video, this really, really bad UI. So for starters, like I was saying, it's kind of like Fortnite's trying to take away their own identity from themselves, and I'm not sure why. Going back to the old UI, we had these rectangular buttons for pretty much everything. And there's just so much color everywhere for the UI, even the V-Buck button itself, which I have to point out very specifically because you'll see why in a second. Just so much color and this is Fortnite. Like looking at this, this is Fortnite. It's their style. This is the style and art style that we've gotten used to for years now. Taking a look at the new bar here, we could see they went with a rounded design for everything, all of the new buttons, which I heavily disagree with. A rounded design isn't always bad. In fact, they can look really clean and unique. Actually, I might not want to say unique anymore because every single design these days seems like it wants to go with the rounded edge. It's kind of like the new modern trend. But yeah, it just does not feel like Fortnite. As we've seen just a moment ago, Fortnite used to have the rectangular theme for everything. This new design is now basically just soulless. It's just rounded buttons. It's not what Fortnite was. Not to mention they also moved the item shop tab, which isn't really the end of the world, but why move around tabs that we've gotten used to for years now clicking? It's almost just like moving around things for the sake of moving around something and making it seem new. It's not good design just to move something around, in my opinion. But moving further over on the top bar, still focusing on this, look at the new V-Buck logo that they went with. It is just really flat. It looks like a corporate style logo almost, as if you're trying to go for that super corporate clean look. Compared to, once again, and here's the old image, there was so much life to it. It's like, here's the V-Bucks. This was made by Vendor Tech. This new logo looks like a family dollar logo where somebody's trying to scam you and use some off-brand website. And that's the image they're using. Like, it just... It looks nothing like what it used to, which I mean, granted, it is a new UI, so you would expect things to be updated, but why take away all the life and color away from it? Like, it was so colorful before, it was Fortnite, it felt like Fortnite. Now it's just, let's make this the most simple design and take away all of the life out of it. That's just how I feel looking at this. It's all such a drastic change too, it's not like this was a huge update that's been promoted for months as like a game-changing update. It's not like this is supposed to be a whole brand new game like going from CSGO to Counter-Strike 2. It's just a random refresh, which a random refresh isn't always a bad thing, but I feel like this really wasn't done in the best way for Fortnite. Moving on, as I was saying earlier, I felt like they moved around a lot of things just for the sake of moving them around and making it feel new. Going further into that, looking at the pause menu, which it's the same at the lobby menu too, but in game you can see the pause menu has now been moved to the right side of the screen. There's nothing that has been changed with the pause menu whatsoever, I don't think. 
other than it just being moved to the right side of the screen. Why was this change made? Like, what positive effect could this change have for the UI change? It's just going to be a really annoying change to get used to having the menu flip-flop. There was no reason to do this. Again, it's just something small and it's not like the end of the world. Who really cares at the end of the day that the pause menu is moved to the right side of the screen? But it's just another thing I want to point out and say it's not necessary for this to have been made as a decision. Like, this decision doesn't really make much sense. Like, why have the pause menu change? It'd be one thing if this game was still in an early state and getting super crazy game-changing updates over time to evolve into the final product, but this just wasn't the case for this. I really feel like this is just kind of taking away from the identity of what Fortnite was. Another example is looking at the game mode select. They do have all of the icons for the game modes below that, but at the place where we used to see the game mode icon itself, which always looked really nice in my opinion, it is no longer there. It's just less color in that area. It just looks more simple and basic. And I feel like it's taking away from that by removing those colorful images that used to be there. Now, there's just two more things that I want to break down and get into that I feel like are really wrong with this new UI. And then I will talk about some of the more positives with this UI too, as I don't feel like it was like a total loss. I do feel like there is some positive changes that were made with this new UI. And I don't want to just be completely negative on this new UI either. Even though I am really disappointed right now and do feel like the identity of Fortnite is slowly kind of being removed of what it once was, regardless, Let's get into these last two things. I haven't said it once in this video, I don't think yet, but for a really good UI, I feel that you want to have the least clicks possible to get to what you're trying to get to, as well as as much necessary information displayed for the end user as possible as well. Now, why exactly am I saying this? Well, taking a look at the old UI's image, we used to be able to see our battle stars, our XP, our bars, all that good information, the llama level, everything else really easily just on the left side of the screen. Now this is not the case. Now for some reason there just is two rounded buttons at the bottom right hand side of the screen and you actually if you want the full information of that stuff have to hover over it to get it to show a cool little animation of the bar opening up and then showing you all of the information. It is such a weird design choice for that. Like, the animation's cool, but it's so unnecessary. Like, they could have just displayed that information. There's no reason to make somebody go and hover over that to get that information. Like, I feel like it's just showing off the cool animation. Like, somebody made a cool animation and was like, Hey, look at this! We should use this. It's a cool animation, but it's not practical for what it's being used for. It's just hiding information. That's very simple information that should just be there. I don't play on console anymore, but I feel like this would especially be bad on console when you're trying to view that information, as you'd now have to go through and highlight that specific. But let me know on console if you guys actually don't really mind that. I'm curious to see what you guys think of this choice on console. And the last thing I want to bring up and talk about, and is the major elephant in the room, the giant game mode select screen at the bottom. The first thing I thought of when I seen this was that this looks extremely similar to how Call of Duty's new design setup is. Taking a look at what Call of Duty does as you boot into the game, you have all of the tabs at the bottom of the screen just like Fortnite's now doing, as well as you can keep scrolling downwards for more tabs to click on, pretty much exactly like what Fortnite is now doing. Granted, this is a very popular UI design, so I don't think that they went and looked at Call of Duty's design and was like, we need to mimic this and put this in Fortnite. But still, I don't really think they should be chasing or using any look that's used in any game that Fortnite's in competition with. It's just not really a good look. Game features? That's another story if there's a feature that's a really good quality of life feature. I don't really care if games kind of, you know, steal things from each other in that aspect. But the menu designs don't need to look exactly like every single game does. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing, if you are a player that is not into creative, and I'm not really highly into creative as of right now, this new UI really kind of drives you away. When you want to launch Fortnite, if you're like me, I want to boot up the game and play the game modes that I fell in love with. Epic used to do the most amazing LTMs. They used to rotate out game modes all the time. We had so much fun playing the BR game mode and variations of it that Epic made. I want to play what Epic is making. I know that they put out high quality stuff. I want to see that. It is completely unacceptable that Epic put their own game modes 
so far down that you actually have to scroll to see it. This is the main meat of Fortnite in my opinion, all of this right here. This is what made Fortnite, this is what has the most players from what you could see in a single game mode. Why did Epic make it so that you have to actually scroll to get to the Epic game modes? And not only that, this whole system is just so messy and cluttered right here. It should not just be a giant vomit pile of game modes just thrown at you and be like, here, choose what you want. Here's everything. This should not be the way the UI is. This does not look good at all whatsoever. Also, I hate how they did the rounded design for all of this too. It just feels like they went and rounded every single button for this update. Again, like I was talking earlier in the video, completely away from how Fortnite's identity used to be. It's not a bad thing as well for games to evolve over time, but yeah, this just felt like it was too drastic too soon. Regardless though, yeah, if you're not really into creative, this is so messy. Even if you are into creative, this is so messy. What Fortnite should have done for a creative menu is that they should have used this menu had the search bar here for keywords, and you'll see why I say that in a second, had all of these different genres and different categories that you could choose from, and then had all of the rest of the recommended maps below this, while allowing you to search for keywords up here for what you'd want to do. Like, let's say you want to do a grassy map search for keyword, grassy map, it would show you grassy maps. Now, why I said they should do keywords is because this is only for map island codes right here. If you don't have the island code, this doesn't take you to anything for searching. Like, you cannot search for anything in this besides having the direct island code. It makes no sense, because this UI would have been really good for a base setup for having that creative search system. Instead, we just have a massive vomit pile of game modes. And a lot of these thumbnails also, I feel like, would drive away some people. Like this KFC versus McDonald's. One, pretty sure they can't even do that, and it's against TOS in this game. I don't really care at the end of the day, but it looks like those YouTube clickbait thumbnails where people are trying to scam you, like level 1, level 999. Like, this game mode could be very fun. I don't know anything about this, but just looking at this, it looks like one of those quick scam type things, and I don't want to go near this. This should not be what is like, just forced upon you when you're trying to play Fortnite. But yeah, talking about that again, it is so wild that you have to actually scroll to get to the epic made game modes. Seeing this like this makes me feel like we're never ever going back to a time where we got a bunch of LTMs and just the way Fortnite used to be. There's something constantly going on in Fortnite that Epic was doing. It just, it feels like everything's just kind of fading away, like Fortnite's losing its identity. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the rant part. I don't want to make it seem like everything's too negative or anything like that. Really, at the end of the day, I'm just kind of disappointed in the direction the art style is going. I don't really feel like it is Fortnite anymore. I also hope if the dev that made this new UI watches this video, he doesn't get too sad at hearing all of these complaints about it. It really isn't that deep, it is just the UI. The gameplay itself, I still absolutely love for this game. I'll always be playing this game. It's not all bad either. There was a lot of positives with this. You could tell that there was a lot of effort put into making this. The animations are so smooth and going from anything in this. I really actually love the top tab animations where you click on each different tab and it shows that little, I don't know what we'd call that animation, but that animation is just really, really cool. As well as I really like the zoom in effect on the characters in the lobby that you can get once you scroll down just a little bit. I'm not sure what they could do with that, but I feel like there is room to improve on that and kind of add to that as well. Regardless though, I really like that effect. But yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on this new UI? Are you guys for or against this? On Twitter itself, it seemed like it was a mixed bag with some comments in support, a lot of comments against it, and then a lot of comments also saying they'll get used to it. That's my final thoughts. At the end of the day, I'll just get used to this new UI design. However, please, Fortnite devs, try to incorporate a bit more of the old art style in this. This was kind of quite drastic just to go to this all of a sudden. But yeah, lots of good content to look forward to. I'm gonna try to stream pretty much every day going forward, and there should be a lot of videos being posted soon. All of them pretty much positive. I usually try not to post anything negative, and I hope that this video didn't come across as like a really negative video, because that's not really what I'm trying to bring around for a vibe. But anyways, yeah, we are now back. Not the video I thought I'd make for my first video coming back, and I hope to see you guys around at the next one. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this again, and we will see you guys later. Peace out, guys.